Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, so first thing I should say is apologies for the lack of content over the last few months. I've uh, been busy on a few things, um, but I thought as we're approaching the 10K mark, wow, um, in the next couple of months probably, thought I'd uh, just give you an update on each of the cars in the garage and um, hopefully there'll be a few more videos coming uh, in the future. But firstly, we're going to start with Madge the Midget. Um, I've had Madge now um, over two years. I bought her in May 2021. It is now September 2023. So that is nearly two and a half years, which is probably the longest I've had a car for quite a long time. And uh, she's been brilliant, really. I mean, no, no major problems. Uh, as, as you'll see, I'll go through the list of um, stuff I had done um, and uh, it's just been in for a service. Uh, nothing major required, uh, just a few little things. Um, so uh, I'll go through the invoice and I'll let you know um, how much everything costs. So had basically a standard service, change oil and filter, gearbox oil, differential oil, replace the spark plugs. I had some problems with starting recently. It was misfiring and I think I was using a little bit too much accelerator when I was when I was starting it and um, flooding the cylinders. So I took took all the spark plugs out and they all had carbon uh, deposits on and they I could smell the petrol. Um, so basically just cleaned those off and it fixed it. But anyway, they got all got changed. Uh, check and adjust points top up coolant, check and adjust fan belt, grease all the front suspension of course that all needs doing, uh, wheels are fine, uh, rear brake shoes were fine but the rear right uh, wheel cylinder had seized so that needed to be replaced that was one of the um, more expensive things so that added quite a lot to the labour. Um, air filters carburetor tune, adjust handbrake. Um, now the one thing that was uh, really annoying about this car was the fuel gauge and I never ended up putting more than about five litres of fuel in this car because when the tank was full it was on halfway and when the tank was like only just a little bit down it's showing empty. So I've got a new fuel sender and they kindly swapped in a new um, fuel gauge um, because there's some exchange program that you can do so you give your old one back and they will calibrate it so that is now working hallelujah the other problem that it had was that there was some problem with the wiring between the gauge and the sender so they had to root around and redo all that wiring so yeah more labor but a great job they really um, pulled out all the stops to get that fixed. Number plate light was out apparently um, and then um, I was getting a bit of like creaking on the on the clutch pedal um, and that just was I thought it was something to do with the clutch but in fact it was just the, the pivot here so that's been adjusted and that's a lot better. Um, so looking at the parts required we had a couple of air filters um, a wheel cylinder, actually that wasn't that expensive, that was only $38, $39. Four spark plugs, 10 bucks each. Uh, some oil, gear oil, um, brake fluid, um, oil filter. Oh, the most expensive thing was a new fuel tank sender, uh, which is 165 Australian dollars. So that's about it really, not much to report. Um, he's telling me that the distributor shaft is worn and that will need replacing at the next service, but that won't be for another 12 months. So all in all, fantastic service from Madge. Um, still really enjoy driving her. Um, she's a lot of fun and um, has been pretty reliable touch wood. There's only the spark plug fouling thing which was which was a problem and that was really my own issue because I was just um, giving it too much throttle 
on startup. So yeah, very, very happy with Madge. I should probably tell you how much this cost. Um, and look, please, in the comments, I know there's always somebody who says, oh my God, you could have got it done for half that price, or why don't you do it yourself? Or, or you know, I know there's a lot of reasons why, you know, it could be cheaper, but I don't have the garage space to do this kind of stuff. So I'm just happy to put it in the hands, the capable hands of people who are experts. And these guys, Peninsula Sports Car Services in Brookvale, they're the experts. If they charge a bit more, I'm perfectly happy with that because I know I'm getting like first class service and they really do provide first class service. Um, so total, and this is Australian dollars of course, so you know, convert it to your own currency, um, $1,881, um, which I don't think was that bad considering there was a lot of labor involved in the fuel gauge issue, which I have to say is Hallelujah, it's fixed because I can. I now know how much fuel's in the tank. And the rear right cylinder, obviously, there was quite a bit of work stripping down the, the rear um, brakes to, to fit that. So for a year and nine months, um, 1,800 bucks, um, that's not too bad at all. So over the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing an update on the uh, Maserati and also on the SLK 350 and uh, stay tuned for those. All right, so that's just about it uh, for this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one and uh, thanks for watching. See you soon, bye.